and the new way to tell how much mercury is in the fish you eat results in just a minute. Will it create peace of mind? From ABC News, this is World News Tonight. Finally tonight, putting fish to the test. We have reported on the danger mercury can pose to pregnant women, nursing babies and young children. In some cases, it can harm the nervous system and cause irreversible damage. We know there is mercury in certain kinds of fish. We just haven't known how much. Well, now one company says it may have the answer. Here's ABC's David Muir. Hey, go enjoy. Have a nice day. Right now, it is impossible to know just how much mercury is in the fish you buy at the supermarket. You could, for example, have one piece of tuna, which would have 300 times the mercury content of another piece of tuna. But that disparity could soon be revealed. A California company says it's come up with new technology that in just 40 seconds can test the mercury level in a particular piece of fish. And that fish can then be labeled at the grocery store. They will tell consumers what the average or mean mercury level is for a particular species and what the actual mercury level is for this particular tested product. But is the mercury labeling necessary? No, says the Food and Drug Administration, which stands by its current guidelines. The fear is that anything more would create needless concern and scare people away from what the FDA considers a healthy food. Our next page. But this San Francisco mother says the public deserves more. We were really shocked that, you know, something that comes off your grocery store shelf could be toxic or poisonous. Joan Davis's 12-year-old son, Matthew, used to eat fish nearly every day, from canned tuna to sushi to salmon. Her star student began to falter. He was having trouble forming sentences and doing his writing work. Blood tests revealed his mercury level was 12 and a half times higher than what the FDA considers safe. He is now better, and his doctor says other families could easily be spared. Now you can test for the mercury content, and people at least will know what they are getting, and it won't be a roulette game. A small California grocery chain is the first to sign on with this new technology, and if it boosts consumer confidence and seafood sales, the company behind the technology believes this is just the start. David Muir, ABC News, New York.